everybody. Welcome to Nerds Garage Wednesday Night Games. I'm Suzanne. Tonight playing is Dylan. Hi. Kyle. Hello. Adam. Hello. Welcome back, Adam. Uh, we are playing a game that we've kind of fallen in love with. It is so much fun. <laughs> uh, it's called Telemore, and it is a... Uh, a dungeon crawl it is a scan and play and it is very unique uh tonight we're gonna go through the tutorial and the first first mission yep, first okay. mission tutorial and uh it is on kickstarter right now and i think it's almost fully funded but there's a lot of excellent stretch goals so we want that to happen and it's on kickstarter until august 13th and it's by the delve brothers delvebrothers.com and I guess we're gonna start. Yes, we need to choose classes. Who wants to choose first? Uh, uh, well, I mean, as being a avant-garde of the uh, adventuring type of uh, <laughs> mechanics, I'm always the healer. <laughs> so, okay. Hold the game piece of the QR center, keep the piece centered, and move it closer and further until it scans. After it's scanned, check and confirm your choices. All right, well, we are scanning via our phones to a uh, com computer screen, so might be a little bit janky. But I have confirmed the cleric. I am the happy oh, pudgy right. man. Go ahead and take your class card, your combat deck, and your upgrade deck. And we should say that, oh. Adam, you've been DMing for how many years for, in Dungeons & Dragons? Um, for nerds specifically, I have been DMing for four, but I have a good set of experience throughout my basic life. And Kyle just started a campaign. How uh, many years have you been DMing, Kyle? Uh, uh, the odd... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Curse of Strahd. <laughs> we just started a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A week, so 0.1%. 10 percent of a year. <laughs> oh, but you've been doing one shots for yeah. a while. I've been doing one shots for about two years, but an actual campaign for about eight, nine months. So, Adam DM'd for three years of Sundays at our house when y'all were at the master's program and the bachelor's program at Full Sail, and I'd listened to it, and I thought forever i'm not gonna play i'm not gonna play i did one one shot and then during the year that wasn't huh. uh <laughs> i finally joined dad uh dming a game and here we are a year later and i'm still playing and i love it too huzzah we have converted her you did yeah yeah but you know what I said today, Adam, is that my next character, I want to be like uh, Billy. I want to be a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got an idea for another rogue, and uh, we'll, we'll get that. We'll get into that later. Obviously, we've had yes. a little bit of priorities right now. So, who's uh, picking next? Uh, Kyle, did you pick yet? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the rogue. Got it. Go ahead and scan it in. I like the edgy character. Mm. What do you want to be, Mom? Um, While you're doing that, I'm going to quickly get a drink. I apologize. Let's see. I'll be the dwarf. Okay. Since I've been writing about dwarfs all day. And then add another character. When am I not the wizard? All right, I'd love to be looking at the chats oh, on oh, social oh. media, but uh, nope. oh, we are no. sharing a phone. We just barely made it to the table at 6.30. So uh, uh, apologies for not chatting. Guess oh it's just goodness, gonna child. be like that. Yeah, I put it I put it on the table, Dylan, but I'm I guess since you've got stuff in the well. way. Can we move the rooms up just a little bit so you can put your things down? Yes. I'm gonna move the rooms. And then 
that there. So we should say if people are interested you, in giving the game a try, it's uh, you can go to the website and or the Kickstarter and do print and play, or as we're doing, tabletop simulator. But I can't wait to have the actual game in my hand. I know. I can't wait to play actual games. Right. Oh my god, both the cat. All right. Well, it looks characters. like <laughs> it looks like this happy-go-lucky monk is gonna be with some uh, nifty females. Hmm. All right. So you're just rearranging yeah. the characters, and I'll grab the, the item. Tutorial and for the first mission, we don't or get not. Into all those, but obviously there's much more to come. Yeah. I'm about to hit begin game and let's get this party started. Let's crawl. Everyone is going to have backstories. Here's your backstory. All right. So, how long did it show? Is that scene? Kind of. Eh, not really. Uh, everybody gets a backstory and the uh, lore of Vale. Uh, we're Which... we're being tested to join the Scattered Band Guild, and we're going to be uh, taken through these tests by the Alder Mink, and we do not get an extra piece for this. I do not get an extra item for right now. Okay, I'm the wizard, here for the same reason. And I get an item in my personal inventory. What'd you get? The magic key. So important in D&D. I'm still holding the key from like episode two in our campaign. I don't think I've ever used keys. People just break doors. Uh, I do apologize if I'm taking a little bit they read this yes yes that's fine oh oh what people are talking what do we got we got zach there yeah zach and uh hey zach what are they saying i can't see that far even with glasses we can't wait to get it to you oh i know i know and i want all all the stretch goals i'm personally working on all the social media ones <laughs> Oh, okay. Audio levels are uneven. Uh-oh. Let's boost that up. And hopefully that should be better. Thank you. Like I said, we were racing to the table tonight. That should be better, I think. And I, as soon as we're all at the starting the scenario screen. Yeah, I put the A5 in the center. I, Adam, DM voice away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have I have so, to read something out loud. Um, real quick, it says that I get locked big, so I guess I just put that on my character card. Yes. Correct. Uh, I don't. I go. I don't get nothing. I didn't get nothing either, honey. It's okay. We're powerful. All right. So, yeah. We are currently at the beginning in gloomy entrance, A5. So, it's saying, hey, to begin, try and search the room you, you're in to learn more about it. To do this, tap the inspect and then scan the code. So, I guess if everybody's ready, yeah. sound off, Dylan. Yeah, I'm good. Suzanne. Copy that. Kyle. Yep, I'm good. All right, inspect A5. A, okay, I'm going to have to type that one out. A5. Gloomy entrance, confirm. 
The inside of the building is just as run down as the outside. It looks like it's long since abandoned. You start, you stand in the entryway with Alder Mink EC waiting a few feet ahead of you. Welcome to the trial. Somewhere in this building are your membership medallions for the Shattered Band. Your task is simple. Find and claim them. Do so, and you will become a lifelong member of the guild. I will be following along with you to observe, test, and potentially provide help. Feel free to ask me questions at any time, <laughs> although I may not always provide answers. Good luck. Other than Alder Mink, uh, the room also contains a barrel, J8, in the southeast corner and an old door, D1, to the north. Unless otherwise instructed, remember to always place highlighted cards in the current room A5 in that in case. Do so now. So, who wants to check the barrel and or check a door? Because that seems like our options right now. I think it's the, the rogue's turn. turn. Oh, so we have set turns. Okay. So, I'll check out the door, I guess. So I guess I press inspect and scan it. Yep, friends. Because of my laptop, I'm probably just going to type in things personally. Okay. But that's why they have nifty letters and numbers. It's locked. Um, Anybody get a, a pick? Yeah. Is everybody reading their own thing, oh. or am I reading all the description things? And it's now the dwarf's turn. Uh, go ahead and read it, Adam. All right. The only door to the room is a stout oaken thing with a prominent metal lock on it. You try the handle, it's locked. Dead. Well, that's hardly a surprise, given that this is a test of your skills. It is the dwarf's turn. Okay, what do you want to do, dwarf? Uh, I want to smash the barrel. Do I have a warhammer yet? No. No. I guess I want to investigate the barrel. Inspect. Okay. So we're scanning with our phone. Which may or may not work at the current moment for my screen. That's why um, Adam just typed it in and I did what he did and just typed it in also. I think I'll just type it in. Don't get me wrong, it is very intuitive to do the QR codes, it just may not exactly work with Roll20, so we do apologize, creators. J8. J8. Well, that's simple. Barrel. The barrel appears to be as old as the building itself, more than dusty and partially rotted. Still, it seems like it was well made once upon a time so its structure remains sound hmm and then i'm up i'm gonna we don't have a barbarian do we no i mean i'm pretty sure we all have some sort of weapons yeah inspect the room we are inspected the room uh who are you? I don't know if we oh, inspected the... the old man, so to speak. Yeah, ask, ask that. I was going to use the secret key thingamabob. That's a good idea. JQ. All right, so on here, you have the item. You have to turn it over, scan it, or he turned it over to get the uh, letter in. Confirm. I'm going to use it on A5, the room itself, to see if it tells me any secrets. You pull out your divining key and dangle it, and fr it from its chain. Sure enough, you feel a slight tug towards the southeast. There's something hidden there. All right. Well, mm. in the southeast is the barrel, so yeah. Yeah. I am going to interact with J8. You're sure there's something in this barrel. Why would it be here otherwise? You kick it as hard as you can, but are disappointed when it maintains its shape. You notice a jagged bit of wall you could perhaps smash it against. So you try to pick it up, but you're disappointed to discover that it's too heavy for you to pick up. Perhaps someone stronger could do so. I I in Talmor, some actions may be done by certain characters. Exactly one of you is strong enough to do this action. 
You can pass the turn to them so they can try it immediately. Am, am I not strong enough? Do I not have the big burly arms? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, exactly is stronger than me. Uh, I guess the dwarf. The dwarf. I'll do it. Or the frail old lady. I'll do it. So I'll do I'm it. I'm going to click pass turn and it will go to the. Uh, oh, I can actually send it directly to the dwarf. Ooh. I'm going to send it directly to the dwarf. Okay. And then you want to try and. Uh, smash it. Smash it. So. Interact. We interact, I believe. Okay. Interact. J8. <laughs> Down. No, you got this. Uh, the barrel doesn't want to open? No problem. You'll force it open. Hmm. You pick it up and smash it against the wall repeatedly, enjoying the satisfying crunch it makes each time you strike it against the stone. Finally, it shatters into the great shower of wood debris and scattered to the floor below. Interestingly enough, some rope. Now we get to get JX. Yes. Tumbles out from it and lands on the top of the heap. You reach down and pick up the bundle, feeling it in your hands. It's clearly new, uh, new, uh, planted here to be part of your trial, no doubt. The rope was the, of the utmost quality, around 30 feet of braided silk cord. Aside from elven materials, this is the best that money can buy. Extremely light and just as strong as hemp. There's a loop on the end that looks like it might be meant to combine with something. And that gets added to your inventory. Boys, I've got the rope. Okay, I'm gonna... I was gonna make a joke, but that's kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was singing it too, but that's not, okay? <laughs> that's, that's why I didn't I'm say I'm gonna it. just skip my turn to the rogue since I can't pick a lock. So we can yeah, I can share probably do items, that. Correct. Huh? We can share these items yes. right now. Or we could be mean and just hog the items. Well, this is nice. Unlike D and D, you can't share items. I mean, you can share items in D and D. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you shared your invisible ring with me. Uh, you homesteaded <laughs> my invisibility ring. Well, I took a level in Rogue. Okay, so I'm going to use the lockpick on the door. Smart. With Adler Mink wa watching, you wiggle your fingers and prepare to show him your skills. Hopefully the door isn't some unpickable trick. No worries, turns out to be unfolded as it takes you only seconds to trip the latch and open the door it swings wide revealing another room a six to the north nicely done adler mink says i'll see you in there he passes through the entryway and disappears beyond move him uh to the next room to a six now because you've added the second room you can move there whenever you'd like using a move to action simply scan the room you want to move to as a target this is how you will move throughout all these scenarios and tell more all right where is a six a six well oh, that's the whole thing all right uh so we haven't moved just yet correct nope just him got uh, it do you want to move to the room, Dwarf? Uh, I do. Okay, we're going to move to A6. <laughs> the room moves to A6. It's how powerful I am. There you go, Dwarf. Uh, the darkened parlor. You enter what appears to have once been a parlor for entertaining, uh, an entertaining room, and you are surprised to see Alder Mink <laughs> and other members of the scattered band waiting in the room ahead of you. You didn't think... What? <clears throat> you didn't think we'd be avoiding testing your combat ability, did you? Your sword handler says as he draws his sword. 
This will be a mock battle, so we'll be using blunted weapons against you. Don't worry about harming us. You can handle it. We can handle a few bruises. If you manage to do enough damage, we'll withdraw and you'll pass. If your entire group is knocked unconscious, then you fail. And yes, that is correct. I never did roll for homesteading. Pardon? Dad said I never rolled for homesteading in D and D. True. He just he just took my. I asked if I could. No. Pulls yeah. out a pistol. Parry this, you casual. <laughs> I was tired, and you just took it. Okay, so this is the part I Battle. didn't We're quite get last time. So I guess the cards face up are the combat cards, or the cards face down are the combat that's cards. That's part. I did not know if we're supposed to choose which card we want or choose at random. And which uh, deck says is... scan a combat card for the cleric. Okay. It just says scan a card. But let Zach, me read what these do. Zach, do yeah. we take do the top card or do we get to choose from the deck? And then which one is the upgrade deck? Oh, it's I advanced. Face... Okay, face up is advanced and upgrade. Got it. So. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do, dwarf? Um. So uh, I do I get the advanced and upgrade right now? No. I'm good. So just... we get the ten basic cards. Yes. And we get to choose any of them. He's saying draw a hand of five. Draw a hand Got of it. five. Sorry. Oh, advanced, advanced cards are for when you level up. Alright, so let me right, let me put this back down. I'm gonna shuffle, shuffle and draw five. Okay. For each of us. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Uh, da, 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 da. Is there a way to just deal five? Draw. Deal. Blue. Yeah, if you right click. Four, five. Yeah, there you go. And then deal to blue. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Oops, sorry. Sorry. Here are your. Choices. I'm gonna use my hammer, of course. So you're gonna use G1. Warhammer. Oh, and they have certain speeds. So do we? Do we all go? Like I go ahead and choose a card too. Yes. Yes. I think we all. So what at the it same looks time. like, and I haven't read the rules. You choose a card, and then they go in order of what their speed is. Yes. So oh. I'm going to do. <laughs> what do the, the, the rules guys say? Uh, they're talking about draw a hand of five. The advanced cards are for leveling up. Okay. Thank you. And no. then do you discard the card that you use? Oh, yes. That is a good question. Do we discard the card so. we use? Is that say H5? Or is it HS? It's H5. It's HS. Yes. So I'm assuming after every like round of combat, you draw another card. Oh, I would assume we would one. get back to five. Oh, we're battling. We're battling. Oh, I, I, I gave I you armor. <laughs> Put it up there so everybody can see. Scan Ooh, and poison. discard, then draw. Thank you very much. Thank you. How we doing? Ow. How we doing? Can one of you two tell us how we're doing? I can't see what's happening. Um, I think I got hit with something, but it didn't do damage. And uh, the wizard, you got dealt seven, but my nine armor that I gave you brought it down to two armor, so you're still okay. at full health. We didn't do very much damage. Does anybody have spells? We we killed one of them. Oh, we did. Yay. Yes, we killed one of them and dealt like four to everybody else. I did a so, yes, ability to did. hit everyone. So what we do did you do a do? modern amount of damage. Um, I guess I want to shield bash. Okay. G three. Hello, Malcolm. And then I'm going to do the tried and true, don't say it out loud. So you do you do discard the card you use and draw another one, correct? That's correct. what I just said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Eight. Uh, I'm going to do... 
The shield bash. Yes. H K. And we're going into round two. More shield. Nice hit. Nice poison. Ow! <laughs> Jerk. Hmm. What happened? What happened? Oh, we killed one. Oh, good. Can you can you not see it on your phone? Well, we're oh, trying we to, killed two. We're trying to show it on the stream. Oh, okay. Oh, plus one attack. That's not going to Oh, help. that person is going to die. All right. Um, he's got something. I don't think I... Well, I haven't drawn your new card yet. Okay. Nope, that is definitely not that. What would you like to do? I guess I'm going to... Oh, has my health. Good. Uh, what's intercept? Uh, I don't know how to... Uh, Force the highest... Yeah, I'm going to intercept. Okay. That's G8. And I'm going to do Mystic Missile. H.J. All right. Oh, is that? I don't know. No, we got taunted. Oh, oh now they did. Now he's dead. Victorious! Oh, we leveled up! We leveled up, boys. It's a combat card. Upgrade a basic card now by replacing it with an advanced one. Your maximum health is increased by four. So you get to choose a new card. All right. So I will, as everybody's choosing a card, I will read this. Finally, all your opponents have dropped their weapons and stepped out of the fight. You've won! Well done, Adler Mink says after sheathing his sword even though he wasn't in that fight. You showed true skin in battle. I'm confident that you're able to handle yourself in a real life or death situation. I will meet you in the room ahead when you're ready to continue. He nods to his teammates and they leave out the front door before Adler make him said, he himself heads west through an open passage to AC. Place the new room in a pathway tile between it and AC. You're free to follow Mink when you wish, but you may want to inspect A6 first. Move EC to West Room A AC now. Oh, we should investigate. Um, but I think people are going to try and level up, so let me look at all my cards. Uh, where are we to put our card that we advanced to? I put it in my deck and shuffled. Yeah, I put all my I put my hand back into my deck and shuffled, I guess. But it says upgrade a basic by replacing it with an advanced one. So we get, you yeah. get rid of a basic. It seems like you get rid of a basic. Yes. But yeah. I'm wondering like where we to put the basics. I just made another pile next to the advanced right. pile. Should we investigate? Uh it is my turn, but I'm going to wait for them to finish leveling up. Yeah, because I... I oh, and uh, what is the next room supposed to be? A6 to the west. It's AC. A so, oh, sorry, AC. <laughs> We are currently in A6. Okay, so as soon as you guys are ready, I'm going to go ahead and investigate. I am not ready. Got it. I don't need to deal damage, do I? We have a lot of damage dealers. Yeah, you guys got this.
That's nice. Take a look at the art for the different cards. I like the art a lot. Adam, what did you say earlier that the art reminded you of? It reminded me like an 80s webcomic. Uh, not webcomic, like an 80s comic. Yeah. All right, I have picked my card. So whoever's turn it is, you can inspect or we can go to the next room. Uh, or I think that's the only two options we have. game on Kickstarter and it's a virtual preview. Or you could print it out from the website. Yeah, this is a, a virtual preview, or you can print and play to go through the tutorial and the first mission to see if you like it and if you want to back this on Kickstarter, which we did. We like it. Okay. Everybody ready? I'm ready. Uh -huh. I am ready. I'm going to inspect the room before we leave. I don't think we've backed anything on Kickstarter for a while. I know, it's been a minute. Oh. Yes, let the old lady with the hazy eye inspect the room. Yeah, I found something. What'd you find? It's dark. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to read it out loud? Ah, it's dark, I can't see. Give it a try, old lady. I'll do my best. The darkened parlor is rather lackluster and empty. Similar to the entrance, it looks like it was uh, perhaps a room for receiving guests once upon a time. Remnants of broken chairs, a rotten lounge collecting yeah, rotten lounge collect dust in the corner of the room. None of that junk looks particularly useful. But something does stick out. There's a heavy bone hook hanging on the wall. It looks uh like you could retrieve it if you desire. Interesting. So, I think the way that the rules are set, the bone hook is in the room. Somebody might have to interact with the bone hook, so it's not automatically in our inventory. Correct. It's on the wall. Right. I will say, for if the developers or designers oh, are watching... They actually... They just said 80s fantasy pop comics is exactly what they were going for. Haha, <laughs> I got it. Um, but I will say Bravo, Adam. I don't I don't know if this is with the game, if this is with my phone, or with my internet, but my my web browser on my phone has been lagging a little bit. I'm not saying it's you guys, I'm just saying it is lagging, and I don't know if that's something that you've seen before. Well, here's the thing. We've had such issue lately. That's why we stopped streaming for a while. And then we switched to BIOS. And Google it, something? Uh, yeah, Google Fiber, Fios, and it kicks ass. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying I'm experiencing it. I didn't know if this something was something that you guys already experienced. I literally just got internet like yesterday, so it could be mine. <laughs> I just having want, problem I having a with the game, but... Yeah. We were having, you know, we were playing Cape May and all the other games, and we were lagging. And though we were with a certain company forever, we switched. And yeah, we were, I just, were happy. We are giving feedback. That is my feedback. I don't know if it's an issue on you guys. Just want to give a heads up. How about you, Kyle? What, having issues with the app? Yeah. No, no, I'm not having any issues. And one of the devs did say in the chat that uh, the final app will allow for local play. Ooh. So this like web browser is probably just a temporary thing. They'll eventually, they'll probably eventually have like a dedicated app with like, I'm assuming servers and stuff. So just wanted to give a heads up. Yes. We actually, it's, this... it's probably my internet because as I said, it's day two of my internet. I'm sorry you're going through that. We will wait for the lag for you to catch up. Oh, no, up. no. It, it lags for like 10 seconds. So yeah. while I'm scrolling it's down, it stops. But Pointing it out. Okay. Yes. Um, but yeah, I guess since it's my turn, I'm going to interact with the bone hook. Yay. Because that might go with something we already have. You reach up and pull the bone hook off the nails. It's uh, It was hanging on. Seems like an odd thing to be hanging in the middle of a former parlor. 
You're guessing the Shattered Band put it here for your trial. The bone hook is thick. Okay, I don't know if you want to describe something like a bone to be thick, but all right. And jagged, at the top of its, uh, and the top of it has some pitting on it that looks like it was once tied to something. It almost reminds you of a large fish hook. All right, add keep the it together there, buddy. Uh, add the... Add the Bone J2 to your inventory. For now, you can scan it by using the use item. I do think it'll go well with that the goes rope, right? right uh, who, who, has the, who has the rope? You I go. have the rope. We can put All the right. rope in the group inventory. I, I, I didn't know that. That's a group inventory. I don't entirely know how we can interact with two... Well, it says use item. Yeah, Yeah, you can use an, okay. you can probably use an item on another but, item. Uh, well then, I guess, Kyle, since it's your turn, you can probably use item. Yeah. I don't know if it's in... Oh, party inventory. My bad. That's there cool. We go. I've never Are seen you... that before. I kept it on the side of the board. I like that. Alright, so... Right. Are I'll we try... Uh, I'm gonna try and, um... Yeah, use the bone hook with the rope. Hopefully, this isn't like an 80s point-and-click adventure where you have to get the right pixels in order to actually click on the thing. <laughs> says, you, exper you experimentally slide the hook through the loop on the end of the rope and are delight f delighted to find that it fits perfectly. Your rope now looks like a, or now has a hook attached to it. It at the end, go ahead and discard the bone hook card now. And if you want to use the rope and hook combination, use the rope. Uh, JX as an action. Alright, so put J2 back over here. And then it is the dwarf's turn. Torn? Turn. Turn? You, would torn. you like to go to the next room? I do. She's been want... torn in twain. <laughs> I want to investigate. Uh, we probably have to move two before we can investigate. Okay, move me to yes. the new room. Going to AC. Ah, wonderful air conditioning. Room of cages. Ah. Well. Room of cages. The next room is strange indeed. The bones of this space are the same old and rotting former home as the rest of the house, but everything inside it is new and unusual. Three cages sit in opposite corners. Each one slightly different. The northeast has J9. Still? J9. Or whoever. Uh, and looks, it's the northeast? Yes. Yes. Looks almost like a locked chest. Uh, the southeast cage is JE. Is a wooden with a door that appears to be nailed shut. And the cage in the southeast corner, J4. Oh. We put it in the wrong order last time we played. J4 is a steel with no obvious openings. Oddly, all three cages seem to be empty. Oh, sorry. J and J4 are switched. My oh, never mind. We did right. Oddly, all these seem to be empty. To the north is a strange door, D3, with writing on it. And now we're going to just let you two whack at this since we did this one. Uh, members of the Shattered Band often find themselves in unusual places. Elder Mink, EC, says from the northwest corner of the room. Malachi ruins, ancient temples, forgotten lairs. This room is a test of your ability to handle such situations. He gestures broadly to all the cages. There's more than meets the eye. It'll take considerable skill and intelligence to figure out how to progress beyond. All right, puzzle time. I'm gonna just give my turn to them and let these two figure it out. Why? Um, real quick, Dylan, I tried to post a link to the Kickstarter because yeah. uh, someone in the chat was asking for it, but it didn't really work. So if you wanna post links for the devs, you can. Yeah. I guess while we're trying to do this. Bottom of my... Yeah. Uh, Dylan, do you want to... I apologize. Do you yes. first want to pass the turn yeah, off? I will pass the turn. And Kyle, since it seems like it's you and I being the new people, we've got bone hook, chest, cage, suit.
sewer door room itself because we did not inspect it and old man what would you think would be the first course of action um i'm reading back over this real quick the uh Got it. different stuff I think that link should work. What is this, an escape room? Pretty much. I mean, it doesn't yeah, really seem... Knows. It doesn't really seem like the only thing we can interact with is the chest, right? Probably, but do you want to start inspecting things yeah. first before we interact with anything? I would. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, well, I'm going to inspect the room itself. Uh, inspect AC. This room is undoubtedly strange. Three cages sit in different corners, each one slightly different. The Northeast Cage J9 reminds you of a very strong, uh, reminds you very strongly of an oversized chest complete with a lock. It's locked, but the mechanism within it doesn't look particularly complicated. The Southwest Cage, JE, is the only one of the three made out of wood. There doesn't appear to be any locking mechanism, but the door is secured with a tiny piece of wood and a few nails. The south what this southeast cage, J4, is the odd one of the three, making interlocking pieces and with no obvious opening mechanism. No opening mechanism. You're unsure of the point of such a case. If there's a way to get in or out, how will you exactly use it? You suspect there must be a button or lever hidden within the construction. A strange door, D3 in the north and to the east, is in the north, and to the east is the doorway to the Dark Impaler A6. So, no new information. Cool. But, they said that there might be something hidden somewhere here. Cool. I will inspect the chest, because that does seem like it's the easiest one. Maybe knocking down a piece of wood. You well, the, the chest the isn't one? the piece of wood thing. That's J.E. Yeah. That's what I meant. The I just said it wrong. The chest seems like it's the easiest one to get at because I might be able to lockpick it, but yeah. JE also seems simple because we might just be able to, you know, smash the wood. Smash it, smash it. Uh, hey, fourth East you... Cage reminds you very really strongly of an oversized chest complete with a lock. It's locked with a mechanism within, doesn't look particularly complicated. All right, so now that it's at Suzanne, are you guys passing it back on to us? I'm going to smash it. Can't oh, I smash it? Let's let them figure it out. All right, go ahead. We've done this one already. Hey, Artie, I think you'd love this game. Dungeon Crawler. Old D&D &D player. All right, uh, Kyle, I'm going to pass it on to you if you want to try and open up that uh, chest. Yeah, you can do that. Cats behind us. I know, cats everywhere. Right, my phone's taking a little bit. There you go. And then hopefully I posted a link to their Twitter and the Kickstarter. Hopefully that works. I do like the art on the tiles. Too. You pull out your trusty lockpicks and get to work. All too aware that Otter Mink is looking over your shoulder. Although you're more than confident of with your ability, this lock's proved challenging. It takes two full minutes to finally trip the mechanism and bypass the lock. Now that you've unlocked, anyone can open this chest uh, with the interaction. Which one did you do? The yeah, chest. J9. Okay. So J9 is open. Yep. Is there anything in it? Well, uh, it says we now that we can interact with the chest. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pass it back to them. Why don't you interact? I really just want to do it. Okay, okay. Kyle, since you're at the chest, I, I feel kind of rude getting, just pushing you aside. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you... I'll, I'll let you open it up since you're the one who did the effort to unlocking it. This is a game of no you. <laughs> also, uh, we belong over here. Well, that's how you should go through life after you. Yes, I don't. I don't want to be like, oh, thanks for opening it. Takes the stuff. <laughs> Yoink.
You open the chest like cage and seeing nothing inside, you close it again and click satisfying. You're disappointed that the stone door doesn't seem to respond at all. Maybe you need to do something else. Huh. Oh, and it's still your turn. Oh. Cool. Um, oh, thank you. Let's interact yeah, with... We just got to subscribe. Yay! With J... J... E? Southwest Cage J.E. It looks or the only one of the three made out of wood. There doesn't appear to be any locking mechanism, but the door is secured with thin piece of wood and a few nails. So, Adam, I guess if you want to try and knock that down. I will try, but I will say that the chest description did say clicks satisfyingly. So I think we'll have to close the chest at a later time. Good clue. It sounds Good like clue. something... Hmm? Good clue. Good clue. It, it, it sounds like something that was out of the ordinary described as something, so... Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and interact with the J.E. Although the cage door is secured fastly firm, you find you're not strong enough to get it open. Maybe somebody else in the group is. All right. Well, yep. dwarf, because, dwarf apparently, time. <laughs> because apparently this is based off strength, <laughs> I'm going to pass it to the dwarf. Sorry, pal. Okay, so what are we interacting with? J.E. J.E. J -E. Dwarf smash. Uh, you step back and give the door a swift kick where it was nailed shut. It yields instantly, bits of wood exploding away in all directions as the door flies open. Despite the damage, what is left swing shuts what is left swing shuts again with an audible click. There you go again, Adam. Uh -huh. There must be more to this device than meets the eye. Now the reinforcement has been broken. Anyone can open the wooden cage by using the interact action. Thank you for your brute strength. All right. Well, if we're here to make a suggestion, then I would say the person with the mystic key yes. try and unlock the door with no obvious lock to it. Would that be J4? The, the wizard to J4. <laughs> Chess. The wizard to J4, please. <laughs> Wizard to J4, checkmate. It's so funny. We were just talking about you uh, today, Adam, how sometimes when we're conversing with you, it's like playing a game of chess. Yes. Ah. <laughs> it's in a good way. In a good way. So, my divining key flutters widely from my pocket and moves. It, the movement is frantic. The, you can't really tell what is what it's pointing to it seems to think that almost everything in this room is hidden in some way hmm. still my turn i'm gonna try for the door again do, do, do. jq did i type in the wrong one j4 is the one i'm looking at j4 Aha. Uh -huh. Did you, you type the wrong thing? Yes. You suspect <laughs> there must be something hidden within this cage. Uh, cage's construction. So you pull out the divining key and let it hang towards the steel cage. Sure enough, it pulls vigorously, guiding you towards something. You follow and eventually discover a hidden latch. You pull it and the cage door pops open. Now that it's unlocked, anyone can open the steel cage at any time using Interact. All right, so I'm going to assume we have to open these in a specific order, so I'm going right. to look at the main door, because we didn't read that one yet. Riddle door. This strange door makes you think of some sort of magical Melokai, Melokai contraption. It's a great stone. It's a great stone thing with no latch or hinges, and it's completely shut. 
Some sort of riddle is carved into the door in red lettering. Those other than me, objects are open, are actually three. First, second, third. Open them and thus I will be stirred, but done contrastly and I'll be deterred. Well, doesn't say exactly what order to open them in, but obviously we have to open them in a subsequent order. My guess is that since the chest had a satisfying click, that one's probably number one. Right. And then by process of elimination, since we did JE first and then J4, I'm assuming then try and go backwards from that. So the chest, then the cage, then the door. All okay. right. Let's try so it. So we're going... J9, so, J8, Kyle, if J4. you could please. Yes. Which one am I interacting with? J9, your chest. Not your chest as the character. I mean, <laughs> the thing it's in front of you. It. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> okay, chest interacted with. What's the next one? Uh, uh, J4. Can you point to it? The bottom left. Oh, oh, you see something coming from the riddle door. It slowly rises until it's slightly open, maybe enough to stick your hand in underneath, then it stops. Looks like you did the right thing. Do more. So, okay, so this one actually had a reaction. So, right. so, so this two. one was number one. Let them suggest which one we do next. Okay. Which one are we doing next? Uh, well, my assumption would be whichever one we get wrong will lower the door, so seems like probably a 50-50 chance. Kyle, which one do you think would be next, 9 or E? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I didn't read it. <laughs> well, the, the cage, the door says, those other than me, objects are open, are exactly three. First, second, third. Open them and open them as thus, and I will be stirred. But done contrastly, and I'll be deterred. So basically, if you don't do it in the right order, it will close. But I'm not entirely sure if that gives us the clue to the correct order. So, so mm, it's try. Open a I guess. Right now? Hmm. It's open a little right now. It is op uh It is slowly rises until it's slightly open, maybe just enough to stick your hand underneath and stops. I would so put my hand there. <laughs> I mean, if you want you to, want I'm not going to stop. No, 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 no. I'm just... Yeah, while she's putting her hand underneath, close J4! <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, uh, either JE or J9, and if it closes, then we just reset the contraption. So we should want I have no opinion because, as far as I know, we have all the clues. Okay. Uh, try J9. Yeah. Try J9. Oh, it slowly rises until a decent amount. Slowly rises. All right, J E. Maybe it'll open. And then interact yep. with J E. You know, it's a bad thing. I just figured that they didn't want the puzzle to go and, like, a clockwise order, so I'm like... Uh... You open the door! Oh no, you're rewarded with the loudest stone sliding sound you've ever heard. Oh, it's fully open! Yay! That was an emotional roller it coaster. It was, it was. <laughs> I can barely read it from here. Well done! I need to get the next pieces, so if you want to... Uh... Well done, Elder Mink says. You showed excellent use of the various skills and good deductive reasoning. Uh, that will get you through many jobs in the future. True story. The final part of your trial is just his head. You'll see, in, you'll see in there. He walks north through the now open doorway into the new room, A2. You can follow him whenever you wish. 
Move EC to the north room, A2 now. No. All right, cool. Let's take a short rest. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, short rest. Get exactly. Back to your lane. exactly. No. We just have to contain our urge to solve puzzles till we start the next mission. Because then we can do mis puzzles we haven't finished. Okay. Okay, well then I guess I'll move us to A2 since it's my turn. Boop. There you go. The Dark Pit. Oh, we're playing Smash now. <laughs> The moment you pass the threshold of the stone door, you are filled with a sense of vertigo. You are standing on a narrow stone walkway that drops a dark pit on either side. From where you are, it's impossible to tell how far down it goes. Impressive, isn't it? Aldermink says. It was like this when we bought the place. One of the reasons we wanted it. We suspect that it used to be the home of smugglers. In, this dark, in the dark below is an entrance to an... Uh, extensive system of caves we still aren't sure where they all lead you quiet your clenching stomach long enough to take the room in it looks like there used to be floor beams across the length of the room but all the remains are splinters and a drop regardless this is the final part of your test somewhere around 30 feet below us is a blanket containing your membership medallions retrieve them and you'll pass note that you'll find it impossible to climb down you need to Fish for your medallions. <laughs> Ow. All right, big clue there, boys. I wonder what we have to do. I wonder what we have. Can you see what's our what's in our inventory? Boys, hmm. you say rope? We've got a rope. You say J X? <laughs> Good. <laughs> On A two? On A two. Miss. You eagerly lower the rope and hook over the side of the abyss and fish around, hoping to catch something. After several minutes, you give up. Even if you did hit something, it almost be impossible to tell. You'll need to figure out another way to get the medallions before you try and retrieve them. All right. Uh, I guess if you want to inspect the room itself, Kyle. Can, can I jump down there? Are you looking at cards? Can I just end it all oh. right now? Are you looking at cards? What? Are you looking at your cards? Do we have any There's cards? not much to see in this room, unlike the rest of the home. There's no windows, making it impossible to see below. Because the shattered band hasn't given you a light source, you don't think there's a way to solve this particular issue, or that particular issue. How to locate the basket with the medallions without being able to see them. Hmm. Hmm. If only we had a way to find hidden things. Hmm. I guess Are you the being dwarf obvious should right just. There? That's not me. It's someone being oh. obvious. Oh, Adam. You <laughs> no, that's use Kyle. That's, that's me. <laughs> that's Kyle being obvious. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Use your divining rod. So I'm going to skip to my turn and use the divining rod. Isn't it your mom's turn right now? She can't. Yeah, use it, it. Well, can't they're use using that. the same phone, Dylan. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Open up another web browser. Uh, JQ. Divining key. Oh, who knew I had this? I did. Now, I will say, pause for a moment. Pause. All right. Granted, I'm not a game developer, but I do find it interesting that it might give you scenarios that aren't applicable when some people aren't here. So, for instance, if the wizard wasn't in this... Ooh. There would obviously have to be another way to design it to get past J4 and this particular part. So granted, we're not playing without those characters right now, but it's interesting that they set up specific scenarios for the specific people that you're using. Sounds like re replayability that you could choose other characters and see what items come with them to solve yes. these puzzles. Uh -huh. And look at those items. I'm looking at an apple, a knife. Uh, a helmet, a ring, a necklace. A question a, mark. A question mark. I candy, like question marks. Candy mm. or a... Uh, I like playing Christmas. Mario Kart. Sorry. It's like a spell book up top. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, what is that? A coat? A shirt of some kind? A potion? An uh, alchemy jug? A doorway? Poison, key, lock, lock, 
carpet room. A nice there. looking soup. <laughs> oh, isn't that this? Uh, isn't that Skyrim cabbage soup? Yes. I mean, it looks pretty delicious. If we could actually uh, make this, that'd be pretty good. Oh uh, yes, you know what else looks uh, delicious? Yeah, J10. Yeah, I was looking at that. That's a horse. Actually, I think J10. I want as a pet. Where's J10? Right there. Oh. It's kind of in the middle. Isn't that JW? No, J10. JW? JW then. Oh, that might yeah, be. Yeah, that's JW. That's adorable. Looks, you guys are crazy. That looks <laughs> horrific. The, the right. like, mound of rotting All flesh. Right, what's K5? Yes. A lever. Official town more stew. I think you need to develop official town more stew. <laughs> yeah. Town more stew. All right, the recipe book. We need it. We need it. All right, Dylan. I think it's time to eat, eat it. it. So or you want me to throw rod. the divining rod down the dark hole? No. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. Right. Point it at it, knucklehead. Well, hey, guess what? What? Ow. I pull out the divining key, and it teeters in the air. Quietly, almost aimlessly. You frown. This won't be much use. Well, since Can you're we... searching below, you crouch and hold the key over the edge success this time it tugs becoming more urgent and direct as you crawl around until finally it pulls directly to a spot straight down from the east side of the bridge now that you know exactly where the medallions are you're certain you could retrieve them if you had something you could lower down to pick up Sorry. the basket i was fishing so kyle mm. because you did this previously I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. JX and then target A2. A2, yeah. Okay. Man, that's simpler than... I, I thought we were going to have to combine the key or the divinity key with the, the hook. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this is kind of like the, the cleric tutorial. uses the rope yeah. on Dark Pit. Yes, I use my grappling move. Uh, <laughs> using the divine key to point out the exact location of the medallion, you lower your rope and hook over the edge and slowly fish around until you feel it hooked on something. Excitingly, you pulled up and find a basket in your arms. Congratulations, Aldermink says, happily showing you the first outward emotion you've seen from him. Welcome to the Shattered Band. I'm looking forward to working with you. Well done. You finished the tutorial. Normally, you would get a grade based on how well you perform, but since it's only tutorial, you get an A+. <laughs> now that you're ready to try some full-length scenarios. Oh, I wanted an S. For satisfactory? It's well, in video game ranking, video S game is ranking. usually above A. S is uh, the best. I didn't know that. All right, we have passed the tutorial. Yay, Yay. congratulations. We did it. All right, thoughts? Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. I've seen a lot of games that, like, utilize board games with QR codes, so that's interesting to see how it uh, goes together. <laughs> What? And uh, then I like, I like the little one intricate of the combat us, uh, images SS that you've got. Rank. Oh, we got an SS rank from the we developers. We got SS. Yeah, from the developers. From the developers. Oh, oh man, I don't think anybody can beat that. We are officially on the leaderboard. <laughs> we are on the leaderboards. <laughs> yes. Ready Player One. SS. Oh. Nerd's Garage. That, one. We that made me think of Devil May Cry as soon as you said SS instead of just a normal S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I appreciate that. All right, so we've just, the, the first game we played with the QR codes was Destinies that we backed and we got we got the whole game and it's a, a legacy game. So once you th you're through it, you're done. But we played the whole first campaign in a weekend. Mm -hmm. and that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I had a little well, soundtrack with it. So uh, I think maybe this is the future of gaming, the QR codes. I mean, I yeah. would say at the very least, at the very least, it's got, not saying that it's got more replayability than other games, but it definitely gives an air of randomness that yeah. leads more to than just cards. Because you can, you can basically update um, a website being like, hey, here's new content yeah. at any time, rather than like, oh, like, don't get me wrong, love Cards Against Humanity, but it's like, Oh, a new expansion came out. And I have to go and try and buy it or order it online and stuff like that. You know, it's nice, though, because, you know, you, TikTok, we've all got a short uh, attention span. Um, I used to love uh, 
the above and below games where it's totally story driven like this but you have to go to the page and find where where the item is and choose which way you're going this really does speed up the game having the uh, QR code moving along faster I mean I'd be down to do the first actual level if people are okay with that you want to play? yeah yeah all right, I'm going to go to the loo while you set this up. Oh, I was going to say, i got to go use the loo as well. <laughs> uh, can Let you me... boys set it up? Yeah, someone else can set it up with their phone. Oh, uh, give me a moment. I'm putting everything back. Oh, I was just going to reset yeah. the board. Yeah, just reset the board, oh, and then right. we can okay, try and do that. I'll be right back. Just put it, oh. just put it, on, your, just put it on your back, to be back screen. going to be right back. We are just using the restroom and setting up the next board.
are back. back. All right. Tutorial done. Now let's dig in. What classes do we all want to be? I already picked cleric. I call wizard. Well, oh, deja vu. All right. So oh. is, am I the muscle again? You can, or you can play one of the other ones. It doesn't matter. I, yeah. I don't care. Go ahead, Kyle. You fix first. Okay. Um. Well, I'll be barbarian, so you don't have to be that. So, would you like to be rogue, elf, or dwarf? Ooh. What do you think we need? Um. Oh wait. Uh. Can we you two talk really quick? I want to make sure it's actually getting you guys. Talk. 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 Yeah, it's getting talk, them. Talk. Talk. Um. I think I want to try. Elf. I've never been an elf. So I noticed this last game, but if you guys uh, grab your little character card there and press middle mouse button, it will flip it over and it tells you your stats and stuff. Hey! Their, like description and stuff. That is amazing. Oh, there's my health. Okay. You are medium damage, high speed, high support. Oh, true story. I am very high damage. Oh. Just, just keep them up there. Low, Low speed, speed high, high curve. cursing. Two story tracks. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm low damage, but I'm very, I'm very high support. Uh, that tracks. Level up one card and four health. One card and two armor. One card, four health. I can stun attackers. What? Oh. What are you? At, at level five, I can stun attackers. Oh, that's cool. What do I get? What do we get at level five? Hey, Dylan, uh, join the room for the game ID and everything. You and add your guys' class. First at level five. You get to the enemy ear. I love the diversity of the art, too. And that. Not the women are not the normal scantily clad, and the men are all Yeah, clad. no, if anybody knows me, I always try to go when playing an MMO, and I always try and look for the so... female class with the heaviest set of armor. Like, you know what really gets me hot I'm and heavy? Go with when I know that my woman is protected. There you go. I can't hear <laughs> anything they're saying. Oh, do you want this? In a moment, I'm adding your character. C4. Oh, you're going to be explosive. Oh, it. ow. <laughs> I'm his mother. I'm allowed. And there we go. Okay. You can finish what you were doing. Okay. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's private one. message. What? It says private message. Only you can see this. Oh. Uh oh. Interesting. Wait, am I the only one getting this? No, I also have one. We okay. probably have it as well. All right, tell us. Tell okay. us what's no, going on. No, it's their background story. Probably. But yes, hello everyone that's watching. We have finished the tutorial. We got the highest ranking. And now we're on to the first mission. Tell them more. It's on Kickstarter. Uh, we love it. And we want it to get fully funded and get all the cool shit because it's a fun game. Yeah, it is. All right, so I read my background description. Whenever anybody, everybody's ready, I believe right, I will so start at the beginning. let's go ahead and share ours so that the audience gets to see. Didn't we do that the first time around? I'm a different character. Okay. Well. Knuckles LaRue. These you know, that don't really work. All right, uh, hmm. we've been called to the temples by an unyielding dreams of power. Oh, I'm so sorry. See, we, we only have one. Let's, uh, Adam will read the intro when we all get right, there. Adam. And then here. Is everybody ready for Ooh, me to read the lost temple? Get the lock pick. Mom? Uh, yes, sir. We are ready for you. Kyle? 
How about you? Yeah, yeah, you're good. All right. The Legends of the Hit, I mean, The Lost Temple. <laughs> uh, starting up at the... Uh, staring up at the decrepit facade of what once was a magnificent temple, a group of strangers exchanged tense introductions. You were all called to this place by similar dreams. Together, you look to the half-buried structure and enter. It's dark and damp. An eerie whisper, a voice whispers in your head. Weary travelers be at rest. Your journey will be long, but my good graces are well worth the charge. A master of time and purveyor of past, present, and future. <laughs> Welcome all to the trial of the three-faced god. The three what? The three-faced god. Ah, him. <laughs> yeah. I mean her. Light slowly Sorry. fills the room, and you're quite surprised to find yourself in what once was a grand dining room. A9, now weathered with time and neglect. All right. Nice. Well, being the fact that there's one thing to do here... I'm going to inspect A9. The dining room. Ornate cabinets filled with dusty fine wear, uh, wares line the walls. Roots and weeds creep through the cracks of the stone. An ancient looking man, E.E., e., sits at the head of a broken table where a large, unappetizing bowl of gruel, J.K., rests between <gasps> a that, few bottles of wine. <laughs> an empty pa an empty passageway to the north leads to a long dark hallway. A eight. Place all three A eight pieces arranged north to south now. Okay. So we did get that bowl of gruel. Hey, we did. Um Is is that E E? -E? Oh he is E E. -E. Is Wait, that wasn't that our trial master? Is it still him? It's I mean, he new. may be used as the same icon. Okay. I'm sorry, this cat is driving me nuts. In or out? We need uh, two more A8s. Uh, A8. I know, there's three of them. Yes. Ah, here's the middle one. We need one more A8. Uh, arrange north to south. They so, have positions on uh, them. Ah, they do have positions. Is it not on the back of six or eight? That is a satisfying sound. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find it. A5, AD. Help us, Obi-Wan. You're our only hope. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. We can't <laughs> find the last piece. We uh, you can't make it across. Oh, here it is. We did the tutorial, hey! but... Uh, do, you mind moving, do you mind moving that yeah, one down? I'm going to move this one it... all the way down, so that way we have room. Yeah, probably makes sense. Why did I... Are there doors in between? No, no, no. Uh, no, it doesn't say any hallways. All right. It just says place those This is to the one north room. A8 is one long room. All right. Well, we've got a dead person, a bowl of gruel, and a new room. There's a dead person here? It's what? It's the guy that threw him on the table. He's not no, dead. No, he's, he's sitting there. An ancient looking man sits at the head of the broken table. Yeah, not he's dead. dead. He's just old. <laughs> he's a little prejudiced, man. Well, I'm old sorry if I can't alive. tell. I'm a cleric, all right? They all look the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think of everyone, you'd be the most upset. Uh, upset. Yeah, yeah, I concur. Look, one should have been in the afterlife, one's preparing for the afterlife. <laughs> I, think, I think if anything, the barbarian would be looking at him like, hey, you're not good. Oh, the man beckons you to sit. I did not read that part. <laughs> he's alive. He's, he's dead, though. Don't worry. He is not dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I feel happy. I feel gotta, happy. I gotta inspect the Talmor stew. Yeah. You've eaten a lot of disgusting food in your time and can't help but to think this girl might be the worst. Liquid <laughs> bubbles and churns within the basin, even though it looks to be quite cold. Unwelcome memories of eating spoiled food swims around your head. You don't want to go back down that road again if you don't have to. But looking around at your party, you know you're the only one that can stomach this. Oh, no. Oh, you're the barbarian? No. 
I'm yeah. gonna just pass it back to the barbarian. Hey, I don't I don't know about you guys. That looks pretty good. Like... <laughs> we haven't been told to eat it yet, so we'll, we'll wait we'll wait to pass off to the barbarian. Oh no, I just did ready. it. You ate it? Oh. No, I passed it back. Alright, well I'm gonna eat it. Without even talking to the guests, just eat his food immediately. <laughs> Bar Barian interacts with a bowl of gruel. You take a swig of one bottle, or you take a swig of one of one. Uh, I'm yeah. You take a swig of one of the bottle of wines to g give some extra courage. You savor the earthy taste before picking up the bowl of gruel and downing it. This is by far the most disgusting thing you've ever tasted. The broth is thin and slimy and filled with large chunks that slip heavily down your throat. You gag into the bowl, sputtering a particularly large chunk back up. For a moment, you don't think you can finish it, but something solid hits your mouth and you pull the bowl away from your face. A small tattered bull <laughs> sits in the bowl. Add J3 to your party inventory. All right. So descriptive. Hey, we get, thank, thank you. Thanks for we get the that so slowly and descriptively. Oh. I, I'm feeling real good right now. Yeah, you're welcome. I thought, it, I thought it sounded pretty good. Sounds like mother's cooking. You know, it's good. Apparently it's um. tell more stoop. So, uh, stew. How more stew? We need the recipe. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It, it we, apparently involves a book. Yeah, we got this. We got like the spell book looking thing. So. Cleanse that. I'm gonna investigate the book we just got. Can you? Yeah. It's a really good line of text. I I love the fact that we've just come into this man's dining room, <laughs> drank his soup, and reading his book. Oh, and his wine. And his wine. Hey, dude. We drank his wine, too. <laughs> J3. Tarnished spell book. Oh, this is definitely a powerful spell book. All of the pages are blank, except for one, which reveals a strong mending spell. You're pretty sure that other pages hold secrets, too, but you're not sure how to unlock them yet. Can you mend the stew to come back? I need to say this. I no. think that's just called upchuck. Oh. Hey, that's fine too. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard right now. We are too. It actually tastes better going out. Stop it! <laughs> you know how I can react. This is amazing. It might be just pictures and words, but. <laughs> Don't stop. It's amazing. Keep moving forward. It's your turn. Well, by Elf, the way. it's your turn. What do you wish to do? Um, can I investigate the room? Have we done that yet? We investigated the room. That that oh, revealed the other right, things. Can I talk laugh to the old like guy? Crazy. Can I talk to the old guy? Yes. You can inspect or interact. I'm going to interact with the very much alive old guy. You're not just going to look at him? I'm going to go. Ah. He's just standing. Yeah. Yeah. He's alive. He's alive. He's Is alive. E-E? E-E, e yes. E -E. He looks very smart. Here you go. Oh. Green tag. Oh, hey, old man is obviously Adam. Alright, Adam. Uh, you take your seats at the table and the old man begins to speak in a shaky voice. Thank you for joining us today. We so rarely get a band of merry travelers like yourselves. <laughs> I remember long ago. Is he an old was... man or is he sucking helium up a balloon? I was thinking more like, thank you for joining us today. You gave me this power. All right, suck the helium. <laughs> when this place was bustling with soldiers, scholars, and worshippers alike. You have a hard time focusing on what the man is saying because as he speaks, two That's other right. faces seem to form around his, moving in and out of focus. The sign of a priest of the three-faced god. The food was much nicer than, of course, and those darn soldiers always complaining about more coin, the green lot. But you can't win a war without muscle. The scholars had their flaws, too. Always searching for knowledge and greater power within their books. You can really only count on loyalty of worshippers. I always said, please, 
eat if you're hungry. No, thank you. I what do you want to? What do you want to ask about? Okay. Do we all have the ask about button? Yes. Okay. Oh, I thought that was uh, just uh, my mom. I want to. I, have... I have it too. Oh, I guess we all have it. I kind of like to ask about the next room. Eight, so a eight, eight, eight. Is that cool? I'm cool with sure. that. Yeah, that's fine. That's to you. Uh, do you have details on the? Do you have details on the long hallway? Every door you choose is an appointment. <laughs> and every door you don't. <laughs> Try them all, or try a few. The choice is yours. Although there's always a correct choice, come to think of it. Let us see if you can figure out faster than others before you. Okay. All I, right. I want to ask. So there's an order. Where are the doors? We don't know. We probably have to inspect the new room to uh, okay. find out what doors uh, are where. Right. Oh, let's ask about the book. That's a good idea. Or do we ask about the stew? I want to ask about the stew. You, okay. Do it, Kyle. Okay, we're asking about the stew. JK. Rolling. You tell me about the bowl of gruel. I do hope there's not as bad a taste as it was to smell. The book, I believe, will be well worth it either way. And I'll ask about didn't the book. I didn't even tell you about the stew. <laughs> Thanks, man. Kind Why didn't avoided. he give me the recipe? <laughs> kind of avoided the question there. <laughs> Can you tell me about the Tarnished Spell Book? You'll do well to keep that book close. It was owned by another scholar quite some time ago. Lost it on their path to greatness. You know, because they girl so much. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'm How going... Wait, wait, now? hold, hold. Oh, this pardon. is from one of the devs. I'm going to need you to record a voiceover for this <laughs> character so we can <laughs> add it to the app. <laughs> it's funny. I just asked him yesterday to be a voice of character for our game. <laughs> Adam, you are in demand. Yep. Uh. How they fare now, I cannot say. The tale has yet to unfold in full. I guess I'll ask about. Oh, there's nothing really for me to ask about. So, uh, nothing else in the room? Like the, there's actually, the... I'll ask about himself. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yo, so tell me about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I am a humble servant, a priest of deep devotion. Taller as you were. I'm scared you, I'm sorry. Uh, I missed that. Same yeah. Again. <laughs> I am a humble servant, a priest of deep devotion, called here as you were. So the only thing that we haven't asked about is the particular dining room that we are in right now. Okay. Do we have so, another ask? Yeah. Uh. I mean, since it says ask about and a combination, we could probably come back to him and ask him other questions. Okay. I'm gonna... We didn't ask about the book either. No, I asked him about the book. No, we, we asked about the spell book. Oh, you did. Uh, Never mind. I missed that part. Someone ask about the room we're in. Sure, I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask him. him. Oh, no, go ahead. Do you have the details on the dining room? Time is often the enemy of the world, <laughs> of the walls we build. This place is no different. All right, time, time. You're going to move forward. Yeah. All right, so end dialogue. End dialogue. All right. End scene. You end the conversation with the old man. Okay, do you want to move to the next room? I do. It doesn't look like any trap doors. So. Okay. Oh, things will probably be opened when we hey, get Hey, hey! Oh, okay. Uh, DM, voice, do you want to do the room? We'll you talk. enter into a long hallway where low, where low torches bounce shadows off the walls and the musty smell of mildew is unmistakable. There are three doors along the west wall. Door 1, D1, door 2, D2, and door 3, R2, D2. <laughs> As you move to take a closer look, the same eerie voice whispers down the hall. Welcome, welcome, my guests. <laughs> I've long awaited your arrival with great anticipation. I am, of course, a three-faced god, and you are about to traverse the first test in my temple. A number of doors lie before you. A few are not needed and simply led back through. While that of my namesake holds your next clue. 
Alright, I want well, to. It's his turn. He's oh. called the three face god, so I assume door number three might be useful. I, but that's where I was gonna head, yeah. Alright. But it is my turn, so ha! Huh. Uh, ha! Fine! Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna inspect the room first. Okay. So A H A H. Long hallway. The hallway is eerily quiet. You're beginning to wonder if there's anyone else here besides the old man. Discolored water drips from numerous spots in the ceiling, splattering your feet with icky liquid. Ah, the water. paint on the walls is faded and peeling. And then there are those three doors. All right, no new information, so I will inspect D3. Okay. Door three. The door is covered in a number three. Every inch of its surface looks scrawled on. That's it. <laughs> So nice. three is scrolled on. It's, okay. Yeah. Three has I'm been gonna, written on it everywhere. I'm going to inspect door two. Door two is large and heavy. A metal hammer number two looks hastily tacked on it. Visit. Then I guess I will inspect D1. A large wooden door with a one scratched onto it. So it's wooden. And then it so is So the your first turn. one's wooden with a scratch of one. The second one is wooden with metal. a two nailed to it. And it's the third one... Metal. Okay, yeah, this, metal. I, yeah, the second one's and large and heavy. the third heavy. one is completely scratched on it, but it didn't tell us what exactly it was made out of. <coughs> Probably it just has. It could be. If it's anything like the last one. Okay. So what do well, you want to do? I'm would, guessing it's my turn. the only thing that we can really do right now is interact with one of them. Yeah, I'll interact with three. I'm right. going to interact with D3. That's right, I'm an elf. The elf interacted with door three. You find yourself staring at a stone wall with glowing letters. You instantly know it's elvish and read out loud. Battered coins, an old decree with tarnished books become the key. Present them all to the ornate door to complete the part one of your quest of valor. The words seem to melt away as you read them. The floor starts to shake. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. You step back and the door slams shut. Walls around you, shifting and vibrating. When everything's still, there are three more doors than before. Where are they going? Right. Place four, door five, and four, six four, five, on and the six. east wall. <laughs> All right. Well, All right, we have the tarnished book. Yeah, we do. So we need battered coins and an old decree. So I guess I'll inspect in order D4. You can see drops of perspiration on this door. The room on the other side must have water of some sort. The number four is posted near the handle. You were just at four? Mm -hmm. Yo, guys, it's wet here. <laughs> yeah, he was at four. Yes. So four is wet. <clears throat> yep, I'm going to interact with, or not interact with, inspect five. It <laughs> just straight up open five. <laughs> Number five illuminates softly from the center of the door. And then I'll go to six. It's a door! There's no number on this one, but if there were, you'd guessed it was a six. Of course, our intelligent wizard was able to deduce that logic. <laughs> I am the Great Wizard! There is no door! I mean, there is no number! <laughs> there is no number, the door is Dude, number six. there's a door right there! <laughs> Alright, so now. we've got... Yes. New information, a possibly Here. cold door, a possibly bright door, and a door that has no number. Ah! So... I want to interact with... Can I use the book? Because it's uh, party inventory. So I mean, you can interact with uh, J3. 
Or use item J3, probably. What do you yeah, want to do? I want to use item J3 with door 3. But we don't have the rest of the items. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to... So we don't have that divining key anymore, do no. we? All right. So, wait. Does use item always implement one to a second? Yes. Okay. So then you'd probably only inspect it if you just want to look at the book itself. Do you want to try the book on the door? We can. Sure. J3 on D3. J3 on D3. Nothing happens. Boo. Just shoving a book at a door. It's still your turn. Do I have any spells or anything that will help me find things? Uh, what is the item that you have? J, uh, K6. Oh, well. That uh, might spells, be I think, later. are only for combat. I have a lockpick? Yeah. That's what K6 is, right? Mm -hmm. um, that one is nailed. Uh, they all opened up, correct? No, the one with no what, name, no number. I mean, we, we haven't, haven't tried, tried to, open to open any, any of, them. of them. All right, I'm going to try and open... Which one? Uh, five. D5. The one with the light. Uh, marching through door number five, you find yourself floating with no floor below you. Psst, been there. Uh, an unsettling silence surrounds you. You look around frantically, but don't see anyone else. A few moments pass, and you begin to worry about you're stuck in some sort of limbo. That Then, the air clears, and you hear a sound of the old man humming as you drop a few feet to the hard stone ground. You're in the dining room once more. Right. Do we actually move into the dining room again? I'm in the dining room. Uh, yeah, because now it says dining room A9. Five so I guess I'll spend room. my turn moving us back to A8. <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne. <laughs> Anytime. Okay, it's still my turn. Uh, all right. So can we suspect that D4 will probably flood us? Yeah, yes. let's try it. Let's do it. Um, let's find out. No, I'm... No, we're trying to choose the least amount of options. Oh, that's right. Uh, okay, so D1 just has a 1 scratched on it. D2 is made of metal and has metal one. hammered into it. It has and two D6 nails. And D6 doesn't have anything. Let's go so to 6. So we want 1, 2, or 6. Let's try 6. Sure, let's interact yeah. with... Oh, Kyle. I'll try 2 on my turn, considering it's probably heavy. Door 6. There is most certainly a room here. A, C. You enter a dimly lit hallway. A few benches are scattered about, and you're standing in a shallow pool of water. A small table on the east wall catches your eye. Sitting atop of it is a rotten piece of fruit, JJ, that looks quite out of place. Hey, uh, Mr. Steel Stomach. <laughs> oh, you want me to eat that one, too? We do. We're not... We're not in... Snow oh, White, it, it automatically... Yeah, I'm not going to do this in there. Okay, it did automatically No, nope, we're still right. in the hallway for me. No, it oh, no. says a dim hallway, AC. Oh, we're in it. You want me to inspect it first or just eat it? I want to eat, eat the I apple. I mean, it's up to you. You're the one going to eat it. All right, do barbarians have high intelligence? <laughs> rotting yeah, fruit. It's, is it rotting? Yeah, <gasps> it's a... Well, it looks like you're the only one with the constitution to make this happen. You <laughs> scoop the fruit up and pop it in your mouth in one bite. It's gummy and stuffed <laughs> full of bitter seeds. Even you can't what? handle it. You spit it out on the table and watch the eyes widen as the seeds arrange themselves and say, what did you, <laughs> what did you hope to accomplish there? <laughs> I was looking. I was looking for a delicious treat. Thank you. And then we lost the item from the map. What did you? Oh, that's a freaking bummer. You just got burned by a rotten apple. Okay. Um, I'm going still to inspect the room. Inspect the room. Mm -hmm. This is AC. But that's also a lot of seeds to spell that out. Why did you? Be I wonder what they were for. The seeds are still arranged in the formation, 
but now it's a frowning, frowning face. face. I like Good. that. I like that a lot. Uh, what do you want to do? What do I want to do? Right, well, <laughs> so my wife accomplish. You can't. Why? There, there's nothing else. Yeah. The, the seeds we don't have a... Uh, all, right, all right, so... A8. Let's try... You probably have to move to yeah, yep, head it back to the hallway. What door do you want to interact with? We've D2. got one, D2. two, and four. Because five. Yeah, sure. You might need the barbarian to do that. Oh, all right. You open the door, seeing the dining room before you. Leaning back, you glance down the hall and still see the dining room there, too. Swirling mist apparating at its center. The old man turns his head towards you and raises an eyebrow. You slowly stick your hand through the doorway and it disappears, reappearing on the other side of the mist. You must you watch in awe as the old man reaches forward and shakes it. You don't feel it. You do feel what you do feel is ill. Oh. You wrench your hand back and slam the door shut again the door closed. The mist along the door disintegrates until there's nothing left. Remove door two from the map. We now discovered you're playing with portal portals. physics. <laughs> yeah, now you're playing with portals. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll interact with door one because I really don't want to open up the aquarium. <laughs> uh, you open the door one and walk through. Feel an uncomfortable. Uh, you feel uncomfortable pull at your skin, as if it's being stretched in every direction. Oh my god! Your limbs start to stretch too, folding out, uh, folding over themselves in unnatural ways. When your sight clears, you're lying on a dusty floor. You look up. You're in the dining room once more. All right. So we've literally <laughs> hit every door besides it's... the bus. Whoa! Time to open the aquarium. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You probably have to move time back to a eight. Time yeah. to take a swim. Move us to A8. Whose turn? Barbarian. Barbarian. You're the good one. You're a good one to do it. No. D4. Open the door. You peek behind the door number four and you see a foggy hallway A6 behind you. You enter and notice the hallway is damp and stagnant with mold before you can look about the sound shuffling to your right makes a snapping uh makes you snap your head skeletons add skeleton eg to room oh we got combat folks so we need yeah. a6 a6 and i'll add the skeleton and that was at d4 that was at A6, which is where we're at currently. D4 leads us to A6. And now we have combat. Cool. Draw your five cards. So I'm going to use... I'm green? No, I'm... You're green. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm an elf. Yeah. I'm green? You're okay. green. Mystic Missus. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to use H5. Nope. That's HX. What would you like to use? I'm going to shoot. G3? That's right. I can't wait to hold cards and be able to look at them in my hand. Ooh. Do you want to do that one instead? Yes. Invigorate. GR. And this time, I want to watch the combat. Okay. I can't find R. There it is. Alright, we're presently Oh, I got fighting. hasted. Looks like we all buffed. Yeah. I, I gave I gave everybody uh, four armor. And I damaged everyone. 
Oh, one Ooh, down. Yeah, one down. Nice hit. Ow, hit. ow. You're good, you're good. Hey, hey. You, you only took two damage. Discard and draw, discard and draw. Oh, why do I hear the stream? Alright, so... I'm discarding and drawing. You have to keep bear with me a second. I'm not a speed demon. And then I go first. Why is the mace over here, Adam? Huh? Did you give me a mace? Yeah, I also got one of the cleric items in my inventory. Oh, really? That's weird, because you reset everything. What did I do? Well, didn't you guys reset the board? No. E I mean, yeah, to get into the new scenario. But... Yeah, so I don't know why the cleric cards would be in your piles. No, no, they popped into our, like, hand. Oh. Oh, did I accidentally draw them to you guys? I yeah, I, I think so. What yeah. would you like to do? Oh, I apologize. Um... I thought I drew them to myself. Change all allies targets to the highest health. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay. G5. Hunt the strong. What is it? G S. Hunt the strong. All right. <coughs> we'll start this oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh. I can't see. You're no, no. You can, you're not showing it. Aha! The skeleton missed me. I kind of want to what, watch Two of them that. missed me. Hey, Dylan, do you want to zoom in close on the skeleton so the stream can see what the art looks like? Yes. Oh, yeah. Creepy but cute all at the same time. No, I'm going to discard a card and draw a card. Okay, so... Just so we can also plan a little bit better, we yes. can also talk to each other about what we're doing. But if you I'm look on the see. app, I'm gonna use right, fireball. Yeah. you can see what their turn order is, what damage they're going to deal, and who they're going to deal it to. So the first number, the one on the left, you can see that the guy on the left has a speed of 21, so he's probably going very last. And the guy on the right has a speed of 33, so it's a little less than average. The guy on the left is dealing 6 damage. The guy on the right is dealing 5. The guy on the left, according to the book, is going to target the enemy or ally farthest to the left of the bottommost row. So he's going to attack me for 6. And then the guy on the right is going to attack the enemy or ally farthest to the left of the topmost row. What would you like oh, there's say? bottom rows and top rows. Um, yeah. So bottom row would be the archer. So the archer is going to get hit for six, and I'm going to get hit for five. And I'm dealing, I'm going to deal seven, it looks like. I'm going to snipe. Uh, what is your speed? What is the shoe symbol of the attack that you're doing? 60. 60. All right, so you'll attack first, and how much damage did you say you're going to deal? Seven. All right. Did it say a target? It should look like, like a little target. circle. Yeah. There is a target on it, yes. Okay, because Dylan, it looks like you're attacking everyone. Kyle, <laughs> it looks like you're... I'm, I'm doing the person on the... Right. Yeah, Kyle, it looks like you're attacking the... The guy on the left. The guy on the left. Um, so Kyle, you're gonna kill the guy on the left. Dylan, you're dealing se seven to the guy on the right. Um, let's see, because he's going to attack me. Is there anything that I can do to myself just to not... Actually, your highest damage ally. Who, who here is my highest damage ally? If I hit confirm, will it start, or is someone not gone yet? He's not gone yet. I, I haven't gone yet. Uh, I have seven damage. We all have all right, seven I, damage. We we all have seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Ready. Are you ready? No, I, I'm still, I'm still thinking because so I want to numbers. Because I kind of want to give two to Dylan because that would be a bigger AOE. But it says the strongest ally, so I just hope that it lands on Dylan. Let's do this party. All right. So yeah, let me let me do FP. Bless. Here we go. Wait, why did it give it to me? I'm not yeah. attacking. You gave it to yourself. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually understand that. Oh, so that. I attacked over there. Yeah. So it actually shows you which one you're gonna attack. All right. And yeah, the the rightmost symbol. Dead. They're all the dead. The rightmost symbol shows who you're targeting, but this says level up. With the most damaging attack this round, but I don't. I didn't have an attack that round. All right. So question question for the dev: Why did it make me target myself when everybody else was attacking? Let's finish. Good job, team. So we can upgrade. Let's do that. The last skeleton falls and the room is quiet once more. So does the skeleton go with? Yes, but we're leveling up. Leveling up? That's my favorite thing. That's good. I, li I like the answer that they provided. They said the rage you carry in your heart made you the strongest of all. <laughs> yeah, that so also might be a bug. I like the answer, but yes, that would be the one thing because obviously all of my other Which people were attacking. I, I would like to give them more buffs. Oh, sorry. But yes, thank one. you for that uh, answer. That is a good barb. answer. Barb. I like the barb. Venomous barb. Sure, I'll throw some chaos in. I'll be right back. Where's the game? You can skip my turn. Hey, I don't know how to move the table. Can. can you center the table, Adam? Can I center the table? Yeah. Like the the game board? Yeah. Oh. We. For like your screen, we can't. Click um, right click and drag. Yeah, so if you hold down right click and drag around, you'll rotate your camera. And if you hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse around, uh, it'll actually move where the camera is. Dylan, come back. And then you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Who's that? A wizard, so Dylan. You're up, Dylan. I said skip me. I need to get a drink. Yeah. And I shall be right back. You're skipping you? Yes. I, I just want to make some drink. Alright. How do you make the skip? Pass turn. Alright, cleric. Alright, well, I guess the only thing to do is an inspect A6. Foggy hallway. You walk around the room to inspect further, but you don't find anything interesting. Fog is cold and permeates through your clothes until you're shivering. Alright. Uh, I guess... 
I guess we shouldn't have removed the skeletons because it didn't. Did it say? It just said add skeletons to the room. It never said that they left. So I guess you can inspect the skeletons. Okay. Yeah, I'll try and do that. You roll some skeleton bones over with some toes, and you don't seem... There doesn't seem to be anything interesting there. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Suzanne, do you mind if you pass the turn of Dylan's on to me? I want to try and do one thing specifically as my cleric. Yes. Cleric's turn. All right. I am going to interact with the book because I have a possible suspicion oh, that my character go. might... Hmm? That's smart. My character might have something relative to the book. Either you or the wizard. There's nothing I can do. All right. My, there was... my background story may have led to something, but there is nothing I can do. Okay. It did say that there was like only a mending spell in it. There did. There did. Um... So maybe you can interact with that in Skeleton? I don't know. Uh, maybe... Maybe Dylan has to specifically interact with the book in the door. Because maybe he can mending on door three. Door three got taken off of the... Or sorry, do... no, no, yeah. no, door three. Door three was the one that had the cryptic on it. Door two... Oh, yeah, yeah. So but it's maybe... still your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna move back to the room. Okay. All right, um, but is Dylan back? He is on his way. All right, well, I'm gonna pass the turn off to him, and I'm gonna hope that he can interact the book with the door and see what happens. Which door? D3. Because maybe Good he down. has to, like, cast it on the book, uh, back cast it on the... Um, we need you to on use the, door. the spell book on door three. Since it was all scratched up, maybe he has to mend it. Thanks. Maybe you need to mend the door, because remember they said something about... Minor mending is so important. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to show something. All right. What am I doing? Spellbook. You're using the book on D3 because okay. possibly you can use the mending spell from it to What's repair it. What's the book's number? Uh, J3. J3. Using it on? D3. D3. Nothing happens. Jeez. Okay. So, don't really have too much right now. D1 led to a portal back to the kitchen, or the dining room. D4 led to a room that made us fall to the dining room. Uh, A6, we inspected that, and there was nothing really there besides being cold. There was nothing in the skeleton bones. The and seeds were taunting us. Can the spell Let's work? Let's go on the ask seeds? the old man. Uh, yeah, we can we can try talking to the old man and asking about the different doors and rooms. Okay. So, nope, not use item. Uh, move to A9, dining room. Uh, interact with EE. -E. E -E. E -E. E -E. Confirm about the old man. Yes? Ask about, what do we want to ask about? Let's go D3. Alright, we'll ask about D3. Door 3. Tell me about door 3. The three phase god is quite fond of that number. Let's just ask about every door. Alright, I'll ask about D, uh, D1. Oh. Give me a second, phone's freezing. D1. Yo, tell me about door one. 
I believe that door has a number one carved into it. Wow. Thank nice. you. Nice. All right. I uh, may not we'll have been right. Because that's gone. Let's go to four. D4. Do you know anything about D4? Nothing happens. <laughs> ask, him about, uh, ask him about A6. Then. Uh, sure. Then let's a ask him about yeah, A6. What do you know about the foggy hallway? Nothing happens. What about uh, the skeletons? Yeah. Right. E.G. <laughs> Yo, what about the skeletons? Nothing happens. Zach, All we right. need a lifeline, Zach. Yeah. No, no, we, we got no, this. No, no. We'll just literally ask him about everything possible. Yes. D5. D5. A nice door, is it not? All right, so which door like numbers? No, wait, we need to do D6. D6. I was never once to choose that door myself. The answer, quite a nuisance. That's about AC. All right. I feel like I'm interrogating this guy just asking all the questions. <laughs> and he's so what old. about AC? <laughs> oh wait, that's a. Uh... Wait, did I accidentally? I'm sorry, I think I may have accidentally did A6, yeah. not AC. Nope, nothing happens. Cool. How about Maybe we try to open the, the D5 again. We already did that. Sure. Uh, end dialogue. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to see if it doesn't need me to move back to A8. So I'm going to just blatantly say interact with D5. Got okay. it. I'm going to see if that's like, oh, you're not in this room. Uh, marching through door five, you find yourself floating with, with no floor below, unsettling silence. Really you look around frantically, yourself. but don't see anyone else. A few moments pass, and you begin to worry that you're stuck in sort sort of limbo. Then, the air clears, and you hear sound of an old man humming with a few feet of hard stone. You're in the dining room. Try and go in the to... The three-faced oh, god is really into turn. himself. The three-faced yeah, god and... is really into Wait, himself. He really, he really likes the I, number three. I, try D5 again. I'm going to try D3 again. Uh, what? Okay. Oh, I okay. forgot that we went back to the dining room. My bad. Did we do this spell book in D3? Yes, we did. Nothing happened. Yeah. You walk through of you walk through to find yourself in a regular hallway, A5, crumbling pillars and a pool of sour smelling water fills the room. Scenes of worshippers in deep prayer have carved in the walls. In one of the scenes, a priest issues in something from a scroll, his arm raised before him with a great with great enthusiasm. The only thing you see in this room is a dusty lock chest J9 near the far wall. Well, I'm gonna pass my turn to the person with the lock picks. Who's got the lock picks? You. Oh, you do. Alright, I picked the lock. Okay, so what are the lockpicks number? K6. Thank you. K6 on J9. Uh, you go to approach the chest, but before you get two feet from it, you're thrown backwards, knocking into crates as you go. Dizzy from the blow, you stand up gingerly and look around. A symbol, Jay-Z, glows on the floor in front of the chest. Oh, we got Jay-Z here now. <laughs> I'm going to ask to request the turn, please. Can, do you want to give him the turn? You may. Cool, because uh, I had some dreams about reading some uh, uh, some hieroglyphs on some That's uh, right. stone. That's right. Secrets! So, so I'm going to first read it. To make sure not to have something blow up in my face. <laughs> ruin. You don't need to get very close to know that this is a ruin. Curious about its nature, you walk forward and inspect the shape. Two prongs point out in your direction from a central circle. You know this to be a wall of energy ruin and think you could disarm it if you interacted with. Ah, uh, my dreams led up to this. <laughs> you sit down in front of the ruin, careful to keep your distance, and take a deep meditative breath. You place your hands atop the glowing symbol and begin to trace your fingers. Within two breaths, the glowing cease. 
You just All traced right. it. Elf. Yes. I believe I believe you're good to go. It's barbarian. Unless the barbarian turn. wants to smash open the box. <laughs> I think you should. No, I, I gave the turn okay, to you. So, what is the lockpick number? Uh, K6 to J9. K6 to J9. There's a dragon there. Do we have checkmate? I, I don't think there's nine squares on a board. <laughs> <laughs> you brandish your thieves' tools and get to work. The lock is newer than you expected, but no match for my skills. You hear the satisfying click and swing the lid open. Inside is a simple scroll. Add K2 to the party inventory. So I think this is one of the things we need for opening the right. door. Right. We, yes. we need a scroll, bent coins, and the book. I'm going to inspect the scroll since we just got okay. it. Okay. Scroll of writing. You unroll the scroll slowly, painfully aware of how fragile it feels in your hands. Time has curled its corners, and it's clear that many hands handled the parchment before yours. You now have tetanus. Part of the text is missing, but from what you read, it's a religious decree stating that the search of eternal life is abhorrent in the eyes of the three-faced god. A cheat against the mighty hands of time and the mortem ye vitae. Looking back at the carvings of the wall, you wonder if it's the same edict depicted in the image. <laughs> Basically, no immortality for you. Okay, but dear, I don't want All right, immortality. So we got a scroll. All right, have I'm we still going to. The room? We haven't investigated the room yet, but I'm still going to open the opinion to going into D five one more time, at our convenience. Let's do okay, it. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I, I'll try and go in there. My um, I might have something with that. I don't know. Sure. I've been trying to make understand it. Oh, barbarian, move to the long hallway. You trudge back to the long hallway and see the room behind you dissolving into the mist. Doors slam shut behind you. You hear a loud scraping sound as if the walls were moving. Then you realize the sound isn't coming from... Door three, but all around you down the hall. Uh -oh. The walls begin to spin until the doors are just a blur. When everything settles, you notice two doors are gone. Remove door four and five. Sitting at the end of the hallway is a large ornate door, door seven, that most certainly not was not there before. Beside, beside it stands the old man, smiling politely as ever. The time you are spending here is most unimpressive. <laughs> Move him to the long door. We're taking forever. We're supposed to do this fast. All right. So. Well, well I guess if you wish to inspect a D7. Did we ever do D1? Uh, that one was the hand portal thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to D7. Oh. Somebody should probably inspect. You look for a way to open the door, but there is no knob or lever that you can find. You take a step back and inspect it better. The door is quite ornate, carved with images of soldiers worshiping and worshippers and scholars. The soldiers huddle together, holding piles of corn or coins in their hand. Their faces twisted with malice and greed. The worshippers appear benevolent and kind. Many are bent in prayer, while others recite religious scrolls. You cannot see the faces of the scholars who, who all have their noses buried in various books. The scene reminds you of when you first sat down with the old man and he rambles and he rambled on about the past. All right. So this probably is where we need to offer up the three things, but we still yeah. need to find the coins. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, well, I have have a D3? No idea. Do you want to talk to him? Maybe he has some new dialogues for us? Talk to him now. What was D1? Uh, D1 was the three. hand portal. Yeah, but it might have changed considering all the other door uh, strings. Okay. Oh. It's changed. 
Read it, Dill. Dill. You cautiously open the door. It's hard. I'm going to get the pieces. It's hard to see through the thick darkness, but you can make out a dingy hallway A7. As you walk through, you hear the old man call. Oh, I would not have chosen that door if I were in your shoes. <laughs> Torches light with fire as you enter the room. It's old and dingy like the rest of the temple. But there's effigies of the three vase gods scattered about. You look closer. Oh, my phone. Oh, there you go. You look closer and notice, this, uh, notice that some of the statues aren't covered in as much dust. Almost as if they've been placed here recently. And the sound of your startled party members pull you away. And you find yourself surrounded by slimes. Add slime, EJ, to the room. Well, we got six slimes we fighting. Sweet! I love a good combat. Oh, my goodness. All right, you, gotta, you guys got to see that. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yep. That's so cool. Ah, yes. My advanced spell is what I drew. Oopsies. I'm going to take a look at it. Where am I? I'm... Here. Okay. Can I see my spells, please? Yeah, I will give everybody oh. armor. I'm going to let it Thank sit you. on this for a moment. Okay, we will come back to that after we choose spells. I'm choosing first. I'm going to do... <laughs> Alright, so it looks like there's going to be two debuffs to Dylan. An ally is getting a buff. Poison to me, poison to the elf, and a debuff to the elf. Bubble. I'm because there's no damage coming, so I'm just gonna miss alone. Okay. What do you want to do? Um. You have your. Uh, you have your. So they're they're ability. applying debuffs, poison, and a buff to one of them. So it's only the one. I'll snipe. That's G. What? in snipe oh it's going oh we're going he is we're watching because it's cool sorry audience no one's dead half damage half ow uh, I will say, developers, on my app, I do not see health totals or shield totals. I think that's only in the in-between. No, I've been able to see them the entire time in other fights, so I don't know exactly what's going on right now. Where's my deck? Oh. I'm all stressed out. Okay, I am gonna do something stupid. Me too. I'm gonna use Firestorm and deal 12 damage to everyone. Okay. Well, I gave us all six armor, so. Cool. I'm dealing three damage to myself. Wait, why are you dealing three to yourself? I'm, I'm a masochist like that. It's all good. <laughs> I'm trying to cleanse you guys. What the hell's going on? So what do you want to use? You, uh... Adam, they asked, what phone are you using? Uh, I am using a Samsung 9S. No. Do you want to supply? The barb, yeah. Okay. So that's G1. This is the first time it's happened, though. I've seen all the health totals and everything else ever since then. Uh, but for some reason, it's not happening now. Okay, is everyone ready? Uh, I'm I'm yep. fine. Okay, I'm gonna want to watch this because we're all using advanced shit. So I'm gonna put the camera on that. Everyone ready? Confirm. Ah! 
No, that's armor. That's good. That was cleansing. All right, they're definitely stronger than the last battle. And it's dead. Ah! Yep. He healed himself. Ah! Oh. I think that's it. Damn it. I guess my clench should have come later. Shoot. Oh, two oh! down. Two left. I All killed right. two. All right. Thank yeah, you also hurt us for a good Brit. I know, it was the best option. Yeah, I'm at, uh, ha I'm at half. Um, Let's see, what are they doing? Are they attacking? It's poison and down, so they're not attacking. Oh, I'm going to do that. What did I get now? I'm going to do four damage to everything and add two damage oh, to yeah, attacks from allies. All right, well, what's the speed of that? Uh, speed is 86. Aha, uh -huh, my speed's 88, so I'll apply four armor to all allies first. Nice. How do you gate the wizard hurting us? No, I'm helping us. Two attack, two, two damage, two oh. your attack. How much damage did you say it's gonna do to everything? It's gonna yeah. do four. I'm gonna do shoot. Oh, uh, well, you'll, you'll kill everything then with that. I'm gonna do shoot. Yeah. Oh, when you said four to everything, I thought you, I thought you also meant us. Yeah, he probably does. Well, no, his his icon shows just all enemies. Oh. The last thing showed all enemies and all allies. All right, here we go. Shield. And dead. Oh, good. We got I it. killed we it. Got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We, we solved it. Combat finished. Do we level up? Yes. yes. My favorite. Level up. Okay, so. Ooh. Whenever I cast a spell that gives armor, it increases by two. You did it. All oh, the slimes are dead, dead, dead. You search around the room for more clues, nudging some rubble with your foot, dipping your fingers in a slime puddle, and scratching away at some of the grimes with nail on the wall. There's a lot of goo everywhere. That happens. You did it. Okay, let's choose your... Whose turn is it? We're, you need to, we're choosing upgrade cards. Okay. Uh, but it'll be your turn after. Okay, so regroup. Uh, power shot looks good. Yeah, take it. Okay. 11 damage, that's cool. And I'll get rid of... What do you want to get rid of? Uh, I have one of my armors. I have two armors. You don't have anything to do armor. The skin, yeah. I'm getting a little stressed out. I'm biting my nails. Why are you getting stressed out? There's obviously going to be another battle. We don't know that. All right, let's yeah, solve this. Yeah, but it looks I like we even chosen my upgrade card. after each fight, moment? so... Hmm? I haven't even chosen my upgrade. It looks like we heal after every battle, so even if we get like to really low, it's not it's not like we have to take a short rest or healing potions or anything. This game could be endless. If they keep adding stuff, we could play this forever. Much like the Sunday games. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it did it. Oh. Okay. All right, where are we at? We are in the slime room still. Yes, what we are currently do? still Should in... Should I investigate the slime or interact with oh, the slime? You can investigate the slime or the, uh, the room itself. The room. I'm going to do the room. The room, the room, the What's room. What's the room's number? A7. A7. You're so sure there's a clue in here somewhere. You scan the walls desperately looking for anything. 
even check the back door. You're about to give up and you head back into the long hallway when you see words carved into it. The three face God. It looks like whoever scrawled this cut, the word three deeper than the others. I guess I'll interact with the room itself and see if yeah. I can press the three. <gasps> That's such a good idea. There's no way to interact with that. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, check the slimes. Yeah, yeah I'll check the slimes. Uh, inspect. Did we ever inspect the scroll? Yes. Yes. Sorry, I've got slime. a memory of the goldfish. It's a pile of slime, green, and gooey. I want to interact with the slime. That's Maybe there's in something in it. You boldly stick your hand in a pile of slime. It's not, not only is it gross, but it stings, burns your hand, it pulls away slurpy, sharp, sharply, and there's nothing else here. All right, well. Hmm. It's got to be a coin in there somewhere. Can we use the spell book to get a coin? Let's see if I can interact with D1. I think that the spell book and the scroll are only gonna are gonna be used to like actually open D7. Yeah. There's nothing to mend in here. Yeah, I don't mind that. Nothing in your current room. You want to go out? Oh. I, have no I tried to interact with the door, but mm -hmm. we can go back and check D6, I guess. That's a good idea, because we came back. This changed. Cool. Long hallway. And then, what is that, AC? It's a bit sticky. Nice. Where are we at? Uh, it's just still talking about the friend. Yeah. Seeds. Hmm. Stop. Well, you want to ask the old man about the... I mean, the bowl is still back there. Maybe we can keep interact. I don't know. I mean, it's your turn. You can try. We just have one new room and one new thing to ask the old man about. But then again, a lot of the things that he said is nothing, nothing. happens. Nothing. But there's no harm in asking the old helium man. See what he says. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Kyle, since it's still your turn, you can ask him. Hallway. Oh, yeah, I was just trying to get the numbers. <coughs> anything about the hallway? Nothing happens. You ain't gonna know nothing about the slime either. Ask him about the scroll? That's a good idea. Yeah, maybe. K2? What's the scroll? K2. I remember when that decree was issued. An interesting time, those years of old. That's a decree. We got it. We need gold. We need a coin. <laughs> Better coins. All right. Where do we find a coin? I mean, AC is giving yeah. us frowny seeds, and A7 is giving us slime. But it's back saying something room? about three. I mean, if you want, we can try and go I back to the I could go and room. try mending the wall. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, we can we can try that if Kyle doesn't mind. Yeah, no, I don't care. A seven is the room. A seven. Cool. No, I'll pass it to you. Okay, what is the book's number? J3. And what is the room's number? A7.
Nothing happened. Nothing. All now right. Let me interact with A7. Alright. Maybe your wizarding way is Nothing does happens. There's, there's no way to interact with that. Alright. Move to A8. <laughs> Throw the book at the old man. And then I have no idea. Have we looked at the door yet? D seven. Uh, I I think we may we have inspected to... it, but we can double we can double we over it. To... Yeah, we we did. It was talking about the keys or not the keys, the coins from the beggars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all yeah. that. It's your turn. Or coins from the soldiers. Zach, I need a clue. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, I don't, not, you're just you saying that. Because I don't think we're getting our SS on this one. No, I don't think we are. There'll be no SS. I just don't want to fail. We're not um, getting high rankings on this one. This is not a perfect. What about the rune? Did, like, was there anything else with that? Did we inspect that room before? Yes. Yeah, that that had the this uh, the worshippers basically All reading right, the I'm scrolls. Gonna, I'm gonna try the J12 again. J12? What's J12? Okay. The rune we disarmed that. Did we get anything from it? No. It was no, that that was back. that was pushing you back from the chest. I disarmed okay. it so you could get to the chest. And what was in the chest? That was the, sc the that was the scroll. Oh, we got it. We're gonna get a B plus. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's passing. It's fine. Passing. But we're still but we lost. Still, we still need to get the coin. All right, I'm gonna go back to the seeds then. I guess. There's no seeds to interact They're with. They're gone. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm sending it to Adam. Adam, you figure it out. Go to the. Uh... All right, let's move to. Try, oh, try to go to A nine. The room going back to A nine. The doors and interacting all with moved G8. around. Wait, 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 wait! I'm looking at the clue. Did we get rid of rooms we weren't supposed to get rid of? Zach, is our board wrong? Did we get rid of rooms that we weren't supposed to? Arts, I know. D2 vanished. Remember that the rooms behind the doors all moved around. Um. I don't remember the doors room. I don't remember the rooms it's moving right. around. I don't either. Um. To check the dining room again? Not your turn. Oh. We're in the dining room. Well, let's inspect A9. Let's read up to make sure we didn't accidentally get rid of rooms. No, he's just telling me that we need three objects. Okay. But it did there say... There is something sneaky going on. Is I, I would have mentioned so. Oh well, let's let's go back into A eight and let's reinspect A eight. Okay. So, move to A eight, long hallway. Uh, also, inspect. if you scroll up, I think you were supposed to get rid of A C A five, etc. We were supposed to get rid of A C. The rooms behind the door changed. Oh. Someone scroll up and check that. I don't see anything about moving. Oh, you, you know you heard a, loud, a lot of noise as the wall spun around you and the room with the chest disappeared before your eyes. So this one's gone. So we can go back to D3. Investigate D3. Okay. Okay, that's where we messed up. Ah! 
<laughs> and AC is gone too, I think. Okay, um, now we have... Yeah. I don't, I don't know if AC left, but D3 has a new thing. You smell metal and fire as you open the door. You peek your head around the corner to glimpse a desolate armory, A1. The old man heckles at you from the door. Door number three again. So soon? Suits of armor and weapons are scattered across about the floor and workbench. A broken heavy chain, K4, lies on the floor below, uh, before you. You search the weapons, but you don't think any will be use anymore. You move over the forge that's bubbling with heat, and from the corner of your eye, you see something glowing. You turn to your head and notice it's a spell book coming from your party's member pocket. Huh. I think we need to do mending. Yep. Well, the barbarian picked it up the originally, so barbarian, try using the book. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can do that. <laughs> He picked it up originally. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Oh, okay. He drank the soup to get the book. Oh, that's true. I gotta leave. Bring it back. Sorry. Can you bring the food in? Yeah. You snatch the spell book away from your friend and attempt to read the script. You stumble over your over a few words, yep. but you're pretty proud of yourself. See, nothing is happening though. Uh, you tried, Conan. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> it was funny, though. Did it not work? No. I mean, I was just thinking, you picked it up, you can use it. You gotta use it now. I mean, my dream stuff said that I had a strong stomach. <laughs> ah, okay. That's why I was eating and drinking everything. Yeah, mine said that I could read. Uh, glyphs. It's not my turn. Yeah, I, it's had some other stuff that I haven't. I can't been make able it do. my turn. I'm gonna make it your turn. I know. I'm yelling from across the house right now. What's the book's number? Uh, J three. And the chain is K four. K four. Wave of arcane energy rushes through you as you recite the mending spell in the book. The, the room about you quivers of power as the structure begins to put itself back together. Suits of armor hop back onto the walls. The forge surges with a roar and a heavy chain swings high up above you on the ceiling. God, if only we had the cantrip mending to just do this over and over again. <laughs> well, maybe we need to inspect the room again. Uh, the, room, okay. the room is now nice and pretty. Where's my... Yeah, so maybe we need to inspect it again. Yes. Suzanne, what yes. do your elven eyes see? What do you want to do? Um, pull the lever? Yes. Well, we didn't inspect the room yet. Let's pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk! Uh, all right. Wait, what lever? <laughs> the, the, the chain is now attached to the ceiling instead of on the floor. Uh, you think if you got a running start, you could scale the wall to grab the chain. You stretch oh, your arms this. and legs and gear up and run. You get about two feet off the ground before you slip and fall. Send it to the barbarian? Yeah. This might have also been part of my journey. <laughs> this may have also been me. Arr! Grog. Mm. He pulls it down like a uh, an old-fashioned light switch. <laughs> I was like, ah. It's almost there. You love to test your strength and jumping skills, especially in front of spectators. You plant your feet firmly on the ground, bend your knees generously, and spring into air. Your hands find the chain links, and you swing your body back and forth, slowly pulling the chain down with your weight. A ceiling tile above you shifts, and a battered coin J6 scatters around you, pelting everyone in the head. Ow. Add J6. Ow. Come here, Malcolm. Ow. <laughs> Ow, that All hurts. All right, seems like we've got everything. Let's go to the door. Adam. The honor is, is yours. yours. I, I think we have to present them in the order that we read them, so... Yeah, the order was... Let us move to A8. And let us first... 
Oh, wait. You head back into the long hallway with coins in tow. The old man clasps his hands together in mild enthusiasm, pointing towards the ornate door. <laughs> Onwards, travelers, and keep your wits about you. Nothing is as it seems here you'll find. Furnish uh, books, battered coins. Scroll. scroll. Right, I'm going to try and use them in... Well, actually, maybe Book I can just coins, interact scroll. with the door itself. Yeah. Maybe if I yeah. just interact with door, it would be like, you've got all the it's things. Interact with door. Large well, ornate door. The door is locked. There is no handle, knob, or lever to open it. Yeah. You push and pull, but nothing happens. It does feel warm to the touch. All right, well. I will use item. Yeah, use. I guess we'll use the coins first, because it talked about no, the book, soldiers book, first. Book coins. Book coins. It, it, it talked about the soldiers first, then the worshippers, then the scholars. Okay. I did book. Or one by one. <laughs> one by one, you hold the collector's items up on the ornate door, and when the decree scroll passes in front of the worshippers, illuminate in white as a tarnished book. At the tarnished book, the scholars shine in blue, and when you present the coins, the soldiers illuminate in dull red. You read three consecutive, or you hear three consecutive clicks, and the door creaks open. All right, remember America. <laughs> America. America. Uh, well, thank you, barbarian wizard. I guess you're the honor to... is all yours. Oh is mine. It? All right. So D seven. Interact with the ornate door is ajar enough for you to push your fingers in the gap and pull the large slabs toward you. Uh, beyond the doorway is a lush garden enclosed by the temple's ivory-covered walls. The door closed softly behind you as you exit the long hallway. The same haunting voice you heard earlier speaks softly in your mind. Very good, revered visitors. You pro you've proved your forbearance rather admirably, but what you seek still lies ahead. The garden is serene and, clean and calming as you walk on and on. You barely notice your own footsteps. Sleep pulls at your mind until you can't fight it anymore and close your eyes for just a moment. That's all for now, adventurers. On to part two. Woo! Yay! Yay! We did it! In a so record three hours! The fact we he mainly went. just missed that the door behind D3 vanished. Yeah. That was that was our mm -hmm. All right. Admittedly. It is a little different than normal board games because not a lot of board games make you change it while you're playing. So that's yeah. something yeah. that people will probably have to get familiar with. I love it. I mean, that's one of the really unique I things about it. Love that's, this. Yes, that is the unique thing, and I like that thing, but that will be something, like ourselves, people will have to be like, oh, shit, did we actually move everything? Uh, or... But the good thing is yeah, we so can go back we, and check. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so or, or we can always have. Move. Or, or we can have Zach on speed dial. Yeah. We got an A minus for that one. <laughs> a yeah, minus. A minus. Yeah. That's better than any grade I got in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I love this game. I love it. I enjoy it. Besides the yeah. one thing that's going on with my cleric, <laughs> I enjoy it. But once again, it might just be. The compile. I I don't know how coding works, yeah. so I can't give any suggestions. But that that would be like my yeah. only gripe. Well, Telemore is on Kickstarter right now. Um, last time I looked, it was almost fully funded, but we want to get all the uh, uh, stretch, stretch goals. goals. So head over there, uh, delvebrothers.com. And uh, we hope to be playing this on the table. Yes. Maybe next year. So thank, thank you. you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping us. Thanks, Zach, <laughs> for helping us. Um, I, will, I will say one minor suggestion to the developers. Yes. If you guys know any character artists and those cardboard pieces come into 3D models... I bet you, your ass will get a lot of more people getting into this if you can have the miniature figurines. People love painting miniatures. I think miniatures. that's part of the stretch goals that I was talking about. So I, I on, haven't people. read them, so that's that's I, just whatever the first thing. This is. I have a I have yeah, a lot of coworkers so cool. who like to do 3D printing, and I'm kind of getting into it a little bit. So 
I like the dragon too. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. We're Nerds Garage Wednesday Night Games. I'm Suzanne. I'm Dylan. And we got Adam and, and Kyle. Yep. And Kyle. <laughs> I wanted Kyle to go first because I was going to go here. <laughs> I wanted to end it with that, but Kyle kind of messed it up. We'll and, see. And Adam, 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 please say goodbye to us in the voice that uh, yeah. we love so much. To infinity and beyond. We'll see you guys next week. Catch us on Monday for Resident Evil.